whatever you want to call it. So during the making of this album, once again, that I put out a year ago, Love and War, um, one of the themes is that of war. I found myself watching a lot of like World War II documentaries um, and studying like how does a nation like Germany give itself wholesale to the slaughter of people groups, the Jews and others. How does that happen in a land, you know? It's easy in hindsight to look back and see how that happened. But once again, what, how does that happen in a land that we give ourselves to something that is very broken and corrupt and actually very destructive? But to me, there's always a, there's a dualistic part of it. There's, there's the natural, there's the nations, there's the kings of the earth and the, and the borders and the wars that men fight. But then there's also the conflict that we're all born into here on earth, which is a spiritual conflict. And it's over the hearts and souls of, of men and women, you know? And some might be rolling their eyes thinking this sounds too much like Lord of the Rings or something, you know? But the fact is we resonate with those with those movies because they're drawing upon some deep instinct inside of us that there is there is more to this life than we've been told. There's really more at stake than we think there is. And so we, I believe in this country, we need to become a people, if we claim to follow him, that are practiced in what's called discernment. Because the enemy of our souls functions very similarly, similarly to evil dictators in the world. It's because they learn from him. So the tactics that are used to get us off track are very similar. It often starts with deceit, it starts with a temptation, it starts with a compromise in our own lives. And if we're not practiced in discernment with the small things, then the big things hit once again, and we don't have eyes to see or ears to hear what's happening. And so in World War II, you have these like Dietrich Bonhoeffer and others who went into the, the, heart, the heart of the beast, if you want to call it that, the belly of the beast, that's what I'm looking for. The heart of darkness went into it because he knew that there was a difference to be made there. There's a time that we are called as a people to resist when, when what we're being told to do is destructive and demeaning and exploiting and God forbid even wiping out our brothers and sisters. So this goes to all of you that there is a time and a place to resist and I call you to sharpen your discernment which only comes through the Holy Spirit.